Backlog. 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 Hey guys, hey, backlog time. It's backlog time. Time to talk about the backlog. We have taken every game we've ever owned and put them into an Excel spreadsheet. And today we're going to pick one at random and talk about it regardless of whether or not we've played it. Oh boy, I hope we play Listen, the last couple, we played them. And they were good. And I'm shocked because yeah. usually, more often than not, we get a game that we haven't played. And yeah. the backlog is like two minutes long. Yeah. So hope that's not this. Yeah. But this is number 546. 546, and that is Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the All Patriots right. for the PlayStation 3, and only the PlayStation 3. Yeah, so this is kind of uh, kind of sad because yeah. because I played through this once. We, we didn't really, uh, I didn't really play the PlayStation 3 that much. We weren't PlayStation 3 There kids. were very few games that I played on the PlayStation 3. Yeah. I think it was Uncharted 2 mm -hmm. or 3. 3 was on it, right? All the first three were on it, yeah. Maybe I, I definitely played more PlayStation Three than you did. You did. Well, yeah. you got it. Yeah, I, I didn't even want. I it. got it for our mom as like a backdoor, like I got you a Blu-ray player. It was like Mother's Day. Yeah. You're like here you go. Yeah. And, and anyway, Uncharted Three, I think, is what I played. Yeah. Um, Little Big Planet. Okay. And this Metal Gear yeah. Solid Four, and I think that's all that I played. Wow. Yeah. I, I definitely played a lot more than that. Oh, and like Grand Theft Auto for some reason I had on. Yeah, you had, on, you had GTA 5 for PS3. Because all my friends yeah. got it for PS3 for some reason. Yeah. And uh, Last of Us. Yeah. I forgot about The Last of Us. Everything else, we were, we were Xbox boys for yeah. the most part. Uh, this game, uh, I, we're, we're big time Metal Gear fans yes. in, the, in this yes. house. Okay? Love, yes. Big time love the series. Metal Gear fans. Yeah. I loved this game. It wasn't everybody's favorite metal gear game yeah like this was such a weird game when it came out like there was so much hype for it it very much you know it's obviously not the final metal gear game but like kojima like did a very good job of like implying that it was the it, final metal it's gear game. more or less the final story of naked snake yes yeah um and like when this game came out like it reviewed astronomically. It got tens across the board from like every yeah. website. It's just that every other Metal Gear game is also incredible. Yeah, but like, so. the, like actually playing this game, like I gotta say, this is not a ten out of ten game. I I can't I can't like it's what's, a, what's wrong with it? it well, I th first, I think it's. It's like up it's, it's, there a, for sure. it's a hands it's a, it's a nine out of ten game for sure. Mm. But the I think one of the big problems is it's like fifty percent game. Yeah, a <laughs> lot like of it's cutscenes. Fifty percent cutscene. It had somebody in the chat said I heard the cutscenes were excruciatingly long in this game. They were, but it had some of the greatest cutscenes of yeah. all time. <laughs> it was like they went all out for these cutscenes. Mm. Like I think the final one is an hour long. Yeah, I remember beating the game, and I was like, come on, yeah. man, wrap it up. <laughs> it just keeps going. It doesn't yeah. end. But uh, sometimes I would play... The, this is one of those games where I would play it for the cutscenes. Like, yeah. I would want to see what happens next. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Because, like, it just entices you with, like, just a little bit more to, like, just keep going yeah. to see who's going to return, what's going to happen next, how are they going to wrap this up, you yeah. know? Uh, one of my favorite moments in all of video games. I'm gonna spoil the game for you guys a little bit. Okay. There's a moment where uh, uh, Raiden uh loses his his arms, oh, yeah. and he's got the sword in his mouth. Yeah, and there's this like nuclear reactor that someone has to walk through. Yes, and the, all the bad guys are coming, and he goes, "I got this. You go in there." And the game split screens. Yes. So Raiden is fighting all of these big mech guys with his teeth. Yeah. And you're just controlling Snake, and all you're doing is walking. Yes. But on the other splits, <laughs> you're walking through a nuke. Yeah. And on the other side, Raiden's doing all this crazy shit, and you're just walking. You're just... But you're walking through a... You're, you're essentially shit. walking through like a microwave. Yeah, so you start like getting hurt and then yeah. you're crawling and then you have to mash the button and you yeah. fucking crawling and it's fucking intense. Yeah. But you're basically just walking. Yeah. No, it's the, amazing. The game's good like that though. The game finds ways to like, you know, through gameplay, 
enhance your experience. It, it was the first of the Metal Gear games to like truly do. It, it didn't do top down anymore. It like was uh, over the shoulder camera, kind of like uh, Resident Evil Four. Yeah, it adopted they, a little bit. Of Resident they Evil played 4. with it a little bit, like here and there. But like this is the first one to go all out with it, and they found like really unique ways to cater to the gameplay to that. Like you have like the ring around you which uh, could indicate like where people were like walking or like whether or not they could see you. Right. Um, the shooting mechanics were much better because it was over the shoulder. There were a lot of mechanics in this yes. game. And that was a little bit of a detriment to the game. Yeah. It was a little too complex. Well, I mean, every Metal Gear game is overwritten and over designed. <laughs> and I feel like yeah. this one. This used every single piece of the PlayStation 3. Yes. And there was no need for that to the point where it frequently actively references the fact that you're playing this on a playstation and that's 3. for sure one of the reasons we've never seen this game again well yeah because <laughs> it utilizes way too much tech on the playstation 3 mm -hmm. that just doesn't exist anymore yeah else. one of the things is that every button every face button does like four different things yeah because uh the playstation 3 had a pressure pressure sensitive controller mm -hmm. um so that's one. Yeah. Two, there you your character had an iPod. Yeah. <laughs> and uh it could play music. Yeah. F from from whatever's on the PlayStation 3. And that was that's referenced in the game. So it's yeah. not like you could just take that out. Um also Naked Snake is old and he looks like our dad. He does. He looks he, honestly so that's another reason why he I looks like exactly it. like our dad. <laughs> The game is incredible. This is the most overdramatic uh, Metal Gear game. Oh, hands down. I mean, they're all very dramatic for yeah. no reason, but this one is the most overdramatic. Yeah. Um, but that's why I like Metal Gear, because it's ridiculous. Yes. Yeah. I just feel like, I, you know, I, I, I feel bad, like, being down on this game, because it is a very good game. There is, like, no game like it, but... I don't think I don't know if time has been kind to this game, right? Because, like I said, it came out with all the hype in the world. It got, you know, tens across the board. But like maybe because it was only ever released on the PS3, maybe because it's when this game came out, like 2008. Mm -hmm. It's been like you know over 15 years now. Like people, like don't really have the same fondness for this game as they do the PlayStation uh, Two era games or even. Um, the phantom pain that just came out so i definitely don't uh hold this as high in, in as high regard as some of the other metal gear yeah. games this might be my least favorite mainline uh metal gear game right but uh i think part of that is that we only got this once on the playstation 3 and never mm. again they didn't even do like a like a subsistence version right, right. it just it just yeah. dropped and then that was it mm -hmm. and that means that no one's being reminded of this game yeah you know it kind of just got lost um although there is a chance we're getting this soon yes. because they they re-released a bunch of metal gear games and there's uh through some data mining we seem to think that this is releasing later on on all consoles basically. yeah and the in the metal gear master collection volume two volume two. yeah which i would love to three. see yeah, because I would, I would honestly, I would love to play. I would love to play all the Metal Gear games again. I would love to play this one again specifically to see if I still feel the same way. Because I do remember the over, the, you know, the whole game being so over long and over dramatic, like really starts to get to you. <laughs> <laughs> the game was broken up into like five sections, and each section had like a ridiculously long loading screen where yes. Snake just sit, stood there and smoked a cigarette. <laughs> While yeah, it, it reminds you. It it tells you to stop playing the game. Yeah, it's like you've been playing for too long. You should stop yeah, go playing. take a break. Yeah. Uh, it says smoking is bad for you. Uh, yeah, it also like reminds that. you of that. But I think it needed that because like the levels are so huge, and they needed to be seamless for the whole game to work. And I think you know that was one of the one of the things you needed to deal with in order to experience the game at its fullest potential. Yeah, you know, and I think ultimately that worked you just like again like a lot of melody games especially this one there's a lot of bullshit you got to deal with i didn't mind waiting for loading screens i think that was kind of normal around that time yeah like the loading screens yeah um i will say that i'm clicking around this gameplay uh this 12 hour long gameplay on youtube mm -hmm. and uh most of the time i'm clicking on a cutscene yeah <laughs> it's almost entirely it, it, it was it was and this was around the time when like they didn't really let you pause cutscenes. 
So like, yeah, especially like during the PS2 era, there was no pause in cutscenes. If you would start, you skip the cutscene. Yeah, and <laughs> we're still kind of in a time when it's unclear to us whether or not a cutscene is well, able to be Well, that's the thing. Paused. Like, I think it's better now, but I'm still I mean, right now. You can hit home. Yeah. That's what I would do. If there's a cutscene, I need to pause. I'm hitting the home button. Yeah, but there's no home button on the PlayStation Three. There is. There's the. There is. Yeah. There's the PlayStation button. Yeah. Would that pause the cutscene? I don't know. <laughs> That's the thing. Like, I'm still stuck in like the 2004 mindset where if you pa hit pause during the cutscene, it skips the cutscene. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Metal Gear Solid 4, if it wasn't one well, of those games, I was too afraid to test to test it. Yeah, I was too afraid. I yeah. think Metal Gear was one of the first that when you hit the start button, it gives you the it says uh skip question mark. Yeah. And you can say no. So it gives you the prompt. Yeah. Uh at least that's my recollection. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, again, uh, incredible game. One of the best games on the PlayStation 3. Yes. I don't know if I would want to play it again, honestly. I know. Like, that's the thing. Like, this one, like, it's fun. There's fun to be had with it. There's great moments in it. I still get a kick out of, like, the references to Metal Gear 1 in it the references are incredible because yeah like you said this was like positioned as like the last metal gear game. yeah and i think you know it's done in a very tongue-in-cheek way that like isn't too overbearing that like the way that like modern movie franchises will reference like past entries and stuff um but yeah like it can be tough to get through, especially if you've never played a Metal Gear game before. Yeah, you this cannot... is really a, a reward for people who have played all of the Metal Gear games before. Yeah, this is you know? not a game to start with. No, no absolutely. It, yeah, I I frequently get people asking me which Metal Gear game to start with, and it's uh, it's hard to answer them. Yeah, uh, I would love to tell people to play Twin Snakes first, and a lot of Metal Gear fans don't like that right. because uh, they like the original. Yeah, but I think Twin Snakes is just easier. Yeah, for modern players to get into, but it's still not that modern. Yeah, because it's it's based off the Metal Gear Solid Two framework. I would say play whichever Metal Gear game you feel like you would like. Yeah. But uh, if you want to play all of them, then definitely start with Twin Snakes. Yeah. Um, I really loved Five. It's just unfortunate that it kind of fell apart at the end. Yeah, but I, I never loved my time with it. I never finished Five. I did, and it didn't feel like I did. Right. So. It, 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 that's another weird game because like it does have an ending mm -hmm. it, it's it's kind of like i mean it didn't they never finished the game so it's yeah like, it's it, it, it kind of just falls apart at the end the ending doesn't really exist mm -hmm. but it does this weird thing where you pick missions and then they give you the same missions but like harder in some yeah. ways and i didn't realize i was replaying the same missions just harder so yeah. it just the game ended and I didn't know it ended. I yeah. just kept playing. And I was like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, there's no like actual like structure in Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah. It's just like here are your missions. There are some really cool moments that happen. Like like yeah. like you'll play you'll do a mission, then you'll come back to the base and a cutscene will happen and, yeah. and then the story progresses and you're like, Oh, that's awesome. But then like once you get towards the end, there's less and less of that, and then you never get any closure of, of yeah. the story, like nothing. You're just kind of just sitting around mother base. Yeah. You know? But we're not talking about Metal Gear 5, we're talking about Metal Gear 4, and you definitely get yeah. closure in that. They make sure to give you closure in that game. Oh, the ending is the awesome. Ending, the ending is like, we, it is like an hour long. Like, that's not a joke. The cutscene is joke, very no. much an hour long. But it I is... I think the opening cutscene is an hour long. That too. You need yeah. a... This is a game you need to commit time to when you sit down to play. Yes. Uh, but that said, like, the, the ending cutscene, like, it's, it's oddly satisfying. Because, like, it just gives you a sense of peace after everything you've done, after everything you've been through. You're finally just allowed to, like, rest. Yeah. <laughs> it's over. You can stop now. Yeah. You know, and I, I, I think that's, like, a really effective. Uh, this is an essential part of the Metal Gear story. So you have yeah. to, if, if you're playing through all the Metal Gear games, uh, I mean, one is extremely important. Yeah. Two is some people's favorite. Two is very Three good. Three is yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, so you got to play four. Yeah. If you're going to play all those, you got to play four. And you'll see. You'll like where you are in this if you play the other ones. You have to yeah. play the other ones to experience Yeah, this that's one the thing. Those. This game does not work on its own. Like, it, it yeah. needs, like, the context of the previous story. And I guess that's why I don't hold it in such high regards. Yeah. It doesn't. 
achieve that much on its own. Mm-hmm. It achieves a lot as like a wrap up of the Naked Snake story. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, that's I guess we. It's hard to recommend, but only if you've played all the other stuff, which is yes. and all those are also extremely long games. Yeah. So you got to be like forty hours deep yes. in the Metal Gear uh, before you open this one up. Yeah. Uh, so just quit your job. Quit your play job. These games. <laughs> yeah. But again, amazing game. Yes. Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Check out a podcast sometime. Bye. Bye.